and welcome back to the Gaia beginner tutorial series in the previous videos we created our terrain textured it and now it's time to build our terrain and put it in our 3d software or any game engine that we want to use now for the build we have to uh, choose a node and click build a uh, mark for export so what that will do is uh, when you go in the build tab it will show you uh, in uh, first of all it will tell us uh, which graph uh, the nodes are building in then the name of the nodes and uh, which output uh, of those are we are building and what format we are building right here you can change all of the formats from here and uh, uh, from right here we can uh, and change all of the uh, um, we can change the format for all of the nodes that are in this graph so if we say png then we will change png for uh, all of uh, the nodes in this uh, particular graph so for uh, exporting first of all what we need is the final terrain height map which is uh, here we are using this so we are, will put this for export and we are uh, you see this is under the post graph and the final train which is the name of this node right here and it only has one output that we are exporting which is the height map now to come to our textures let's come right here this is our final albedo map for this terrain and we'll put it for export so it will uh, export a color map from this so this is our lb and uh, it is under the color graph as you can see now for our maps the flow map and all that stuff or the textures for everything that we have used so first we have used the Vornoi so if you want you can uh, export this one right? right here and then for the second blend we used this mask right here so you can mark for export this and for the third one which is we are adding the textures to the rock areas we are using this texture right here so mark for export for this one and for the snow one for the snow this is our mask so we are using this and finally this is the rivers so for river river depth is our mask and for the lakes lake depth and we should also uh, this is the actual mask and uh, this is the texture so we should also mark this as an export now coming to this vegetation we don't need we can add vegetation in our own software but if you need then you could just put the fx node right here but uh, it's not recommended to use vegetation node for this because this will only this, this will only add a noise to the terrain nothing much so if you want then there is a node called growth which can simulate uh, uh, growth on the terrain if you were to put this and go to the properties then we can use the slope as our um, um, where our growth for the vegetation will be we can choose the duration we can choose the uh, spread we can choose the growth we can fit it in the reverse which means there will be more in the reverse and we can choose for the grooves so there is all kind of settings for this one yeah. and uh, other than that if you want some specific uh, mask for your terrain then 
then you can use any of these data maps so let's say we want a flow mask so we put we attach it to our terrain and there it is our flow mask we can choose which flows you want so tertiary will generate uh, uh, three type of flows secondary will generate two flows and primary will generate the main flows that we have so you can change the amount of rainfall and and you can simulate it uh, two times so there are a whole bunch of settings right here and uh, it has different outputs for say primary secondary and tertiary that you can choose from here and there is height mask so you can choose the height that you want and all that these are the custom stuff that you want to do and another thing uh, you would want a normal map for it so you put a normal map you can get normal map and there is also details so if you attach you can get the detail map and if you attach uh, it, uh, if you attach a normal map after details then you can get a detail normal map from right here so we'll also do a normal map for this that's pretty much everything you need to reconstruct this in a 3d software so coming back to the settings so from here you can change uh, like what output you need for all of them or you can separately change uh, output for any of it so let's say we uh, want png for all of this 16 bit and same for this and here you can see uh, you can change uh, how many of uh, output of the node you want to export so say this only has one so it's only shown one so let's go to this combine so in this combine node combine node has two output uh, the one is for out, uh, the normal output and another one is a separation mask and if you want to uh, generate a separation mask then you have to go in here and click uh, sep uh, tick separation mark from here uh, and only then then it will create this so some of the nodes uh, it's not combined but some of the nodes that have mask and they are very heavy so by default it is unticked so that uh, we get better performance but you can tick them here and then uh, put it in the build so we will untick this and uh, same for this one all of the others are good to go now coming back to the here so there are uh, three methods to build our terrain the normal build will build normally of what whatever setting we do like uh, say it's a 4k then it will build 4k and output that in the split one what it will do is it will build it uh, as usual but finally you can after building it can split it in number of tiles that you want so that you can put it in your game engine or and the tile build will build it in tiles and then we can uh, decide how many number of tiles we want it's similar to the split so for all of these methods uh, for this we will choose the normal build and we can choose the resolution so these are the standard resolution that you want to build in and then there are these i suppose these are for unity or some other game engine and then finally there are for unreal so if you were to choose 4033 what it will do is it will uh, generate it at uh, 4096 and then resample it at uh, 4033 in the community version you can build uh, 1024 the highest and uh, for builds above 1024 they will be watermark if you are not using license 
then there is color space which color space you want to uh, output it in and then here the range in the range we have four methods the row will give the height data which is uh, defined by these parameters so it will be uh, 2600 meter high and 5000 meter wide and in the normalize it will use whatever height we are using it's probably like uh, 5 600 meter high so it will use 0 to 500 for our height map and for proportional it will uh, be scaled based on these uh, terrain definition properties and it may cause some bending so it's not recommended uh, for normal it is recommended for mesh exports and the final remap uh, it will give us a min and max value so we can choose a custom output for the height map so this is the minimum height and this is the maximum height of our height map that we will get so we'll be using row for this and if we have baked any cache for our nodes then we can use it right here so if you don't want uh, long build times then you could just uh, bake your node at a specific resolution that you want to use and then use it here it will take less time because the bake is already done then in the build destination you will choose where you want to save the file you can choose a custom location and there are some presets which will choose the file name depending on what whatever you choose right here then this terrain definition part uh, this is important so this is the total height cube uh, for our height map so in any software if we want to create a landscape then it will choose a landscape cube of a specific height and then apply the height map to that so in Gaia our uh, height cube is 2600 meter high so the lowest value can be zero uh, which will be the darker spots in the height map and the 2600 will be the brightest pixels in our height map scale this scale and our resolution these two will decide uh, what our real scale is so say if it is 5000 meter then the distance between these two points uh, it's our terrain is 5000 meter by 5000 meter so it's uh, especially useful if you the real scale this part is especially useful if you want to scale your terrain to the uh, same uh, scale as the terrain in Gaia is and the same goes for height scale ratio so if you click right here you will get a bunch of properties so you could uh, generate a build log and you can close Gaia UI to get better performance when you are building so I'll just do a quick build for you so this is what we will get if you try to do a build higher than 1024 so I'll do it that quickly for you this is the build swarm and uh, the good thing about it is that it will tell us uh, which node it is building and how much time it is taking once it's built it will show us all the height map and uh, all of the exports that we did and it will give you a build log here you can see which node mm, took uh, what time to build So that's it for this video one another thing is that uh, if you want uh, some more control over what you are outputting then you can take a output node connect it to whatever you want to output and in the properties you can choose the same settings that you are choosing here you can change the format and choose uh, how many ports you want to build and you can change the path where you want to build and another if you want uh, this height map uh, rather than height map if you want it as a mesh then you can append a mesher node 
and similarly you, you can choose what format you want uh, what scale you want and how many vertex you want you can change all of these settings here and it will output a mesh for you the final thing which is visualizing this vegetation right here so for that uh, so for that what you will do is you will take a FX node and this is our final terrain with and we take a Voronoi with a, a lot of scale uh, right here and uh, maybe 100 right here and you'll clip some of that so that uh, the sharp ends at the bottom will become flat and some of the top parts so that the trees are more of less uh, the same height so you combine so you combine it uh, with the add so what this will give you is right here it will take our noise and add it uh, to our whole train now this is our mask from our vegetation node uh, this is where all the vegetation is so you will take this and use this as a mask so now we are getting this sort of like tree structures uh, wherever our vegetation is now we will put this as our underlay and this is what we get so far and now to color some of them you can take the same mask from our vegetation you can give it a set map so any color you want so let's say something like this and you'll combine it with our final albedo map and with a blend 100% uh, we'll take uh, this fx and use absolute as a mask so that the, it is a hard mask then we finally combine it and this is finally what we see with our trees and there are arboreal nodes coming uh, which will uh, help us visualize the trees and some shrubs and grass more they were supposed to come out by now but uh, because of covid things got delayed and uh, i think we can expect them uh, with the next update which is coming this week in the next video we will be taking our height map and export it in unreal engine thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video